Hello there, lovelies. So I am back. <laughs> and I didn't go anywhere. I'm checking in from bed because I am in bed on time. In fact, it's 10 11, so I may even finish this bit before 10 30 and go to sleep on time. Um, want to know something else that's awesome? Accountability buddies out there? I drank my goals worth of water today. I actually went over my goal today and yesterday so pretty darn hydrated and you want to know what else i was gluten free today so that's three goals that i've met two days in a row now speaking of streaks i had a really fun streak this morning um i use a app called calm uh to meditate there are a lot of meditation apps out there a lot of different ones with guided meditations and exercises but i love calm because it has all the features that i like like choosing different amounts of time to meditate. So you can do untimed meditation where you can have a bell go off, you know, never or every two minutes, every five minutes, every 10 minutes, or you can, um, what else? I think I did a video on Calm actually, or if I did one, I might not post it, but I don't record a video on Calm, but anyway. It has all these awesome features and I use it to meditate. And today, even though I've been using the app for years, I was using it in tandem with Omvana. So I would switch back and forth between the two apps. But today marks the day that I've used the app 100 days in a row without fail. That means despite any travel that I've had, which I've had some in the past 100 days or off days or whatever may whatever it may be, I was consistent for 100 days. And while I've meditated far more than, you know, 100 days in the past, I don't even know when I started my meditation practice, few years, it's just really cool to see a streak in action like that, which is why I like tracking my goals and habits because you can look at a milestone like that and say, yeah, I did this thing for 100 days versus, yeah, I I just picked up a meditation practice. I've been meditating, but not really being able to quantify that. Um, some other interesting things. So I use the health data app on, it's called health on iPhone. Uh, and it aggregates, obviously, information from a lot of different apps. So it can aggregate from your mindfulness apps or your, you know, speedometers or whatever it is, pedometers <laughs> that you use to track uh, walking or my uh water bottle syncs with the health data and so some really cool stats about my mindfulness practice is that in this year i have meditated a daily average of 11 minutes a day and let's see oops that's not what i was trying to do there Give me a second, guys. These videos aren't pre, pre, uh, prefabricated. I'm doing this on the fly. So here's my hundred day streak. Look at that little one zero zero. <laughs> and um, so this is June, but then if I scroll, that's May, and then April. And you'll notice in other months, I'm meditating every day, but I'm not using this app every day. So you'll see like. In March, I missed two days and then it broke that streak, right? Um, April, or what is this? February, I meditate every day in February. So it's like, I've been meditating. That's not new. The days where it's missing were probably days where I just decided to use Omvana instead of Calm. Um, I actually had somebody reach out to me on Twitter today and ask, um, do you like Calm better than Headspace? Because a lot of people uh, use Headspace as their first intro to meditation. I know I use Headspace in the beginning. Um, for me, Calm has way more features. And it is great for somebody who has a flexible meditation or mindfulness practice. Um, like, I don't want to have to do a certain type of meditation every day for a certain amount of time in order to feel like I'm on track. And so, Calm was great because it had body scans that I could do every day open-ended meditations, timed meditations. And then it does, if you wanted to do track-based meditation, you know, 
uh, like following a journey of meditation, it has like the seven days of calm, which is a free uh, journey that you can take or whatever, right? Um, or the loving kindness meditation, calm light meditation, forgiveness. Um, they have a lot of different types of meditations on here. So one, I like the the breadth of the library of different types of meditations you can do in this app. But also, um, I love the different actual backgrounds that you can meditate to. So I always meditate in silence because that's what I like. But when I first start out, I might be meditating in a rainforest or I've used this for envisioning sessions when I wanted to envision myself because I have that idea of dying at 92 on a beach in a bikini. I would like have that visualization session and have the audio and video of the beach and the waves playing in the background to like bring a, a level of realness to it. And I don't, I haven't used Headspace in a long time, so I don't know if they've added new features, but back when I used it, it didn't have that many features. It didn't have a lot of variety in that way. And Calm is just beautifully designed. Headspace is beautifully designed, but Calm is beautifully designed. And it's also web-based. So if you don't have an iPhone or if you don't like apps, I heard someone say at um, a class that I was facilitating that they don't like apps. I was like, that's cool. You can go to websites and use this stuff too. Um, so yeah, I'm a big calm. I'm team calm, not team headspace. Uh, speaking of apps, I'll be hosting a happy, happy app uh, seminar at the She Hive this coming summer. And I'm really excited about that because if you can't already tell from some of these videos, I am obsessed with apps for personal growth. So I'll be sharing a lot of those with some folks at the She Hive and I'll talk to the owner to see if I can also do a video broadcast and that way I can share with you folks. So I think that's it from a catch up today. Just really wanted to check in and say hello. And yeah, hopefully this was, I don't know, fun, mind, body, or soul for you guys. But just remember, change is inevitable, but growth is a choice. My name is Brandi Keeler, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.